Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to another video of Yachty Reads and today I am reviewing If I Stay by uh, Gail Foreman. Um, I, I should have known the author of this book. Um, I read this about a month ago so I'm for sure not going to give you details because I don't think I remember them. Um, there is a movie uh, where Chloe Grace Moretz is the main character but I have not seen it because I usually like to read the books before I watch the movie so now that I'm done with the book I definitely need to watch it. It's on Hulu so I'm going to watch it maybe tomorrow or whenever I have free time. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Before we get started, if you didn't see my other Yachty Read, read videos, um, I will link them down below so you can watch them. And also, let's take a moment to appreciate my Howard's sweatshirt. I got it at Walmart for $5. Can you believe that? I'm like so proud of this purchase. Um, I, to be honest, like I don't, it, it's probably obviously not an original. It came with a tag. I don't know where it's at. But I don't think, like, it says that it's it's Warner's copyright, I don't know what. But I'm not sure it's an original. Um, because the, like, I guess, because the colors of it, it's, like, very, it's not as bright, not as saturated. And then, which is, what's cool, though, is that, like, the rest of the sweatshirt, it's, like, cloudy kind of thing. Um ombre looking like like clouds and what it reminds me of is if you notice like every time a movie starts like the sky gradually gets darker and more stormy because of the war that's coming like at the end so that's what it reminds me of I know it's just a sweatshirt and I put so much sentimental value in it and so much meaning but I just love Harry Potter <laughs> anyways so let's actually get started so we have me and she lives I think it was Chicago I don't remember exactly where she lives no actually it wasn't a big city I don't I don't remember it being a big city because they had to travel to oh she lives in Oregon actually okay I obviously don't know my cities or states or anything <laughs> um so she does live in a small town of Oregon because I remember that they had to go to a big city to go to a concert but anyways so she's in this small town and it snows and um it, it didn't snow a lot actually um, but they still cancel school and um, her dad is a teacher, she's in school, her little brother Teddy's in school and her mom, she's a travel agent and um, she calls him for work and they decide to go visit uh, some friends that her dad was actually in a band with when they were young. So, and I think they were also going to go see their grandparents after that. I'm not exactly sure on that. But they start having breakfast, but not really because her mommy's not a good cook. Um, and they are on their way um, to visit their friends, the family friends. And bam, they crash. Now, this is um, pretty sad the way they describe the crash. They're actually, they, I didn't think they would be that graphic. Like, I, I really see myself there at that moment when I read that piece and I was torn when I read it like it was very very sad and she especially because she's actually seeing all of this um she sees a, a, an arm and she's worried that it's her mom and she's doing bad and blah 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 but it's actually her body so then she realizes or she thinks that she's dead um and then that's where she sees her mom and her dad and the way that they passed away it's horrible and then uh, she can't see her brother and then she sees the the police and EMT people and all of them come over and then um, they say that she's actually alive she's just um, unconscious and um, I believe they find her brother as well so they take her to the hospital um, her parents were dead at the scene um, they take her to the hospital and uh, so they also take her brother but I think they took him to a different hospital or it's because they take him to a hospital and then she gets transferred out to a, a bigger one because uh, she needed like more care or something so she's in the ICU and she's in a coma pretty much um, and she she is fighting for her life pretty much all of her family are there her boyfriend is there some of her friends go over to um, and as she is in that state of like being a spirit um, she's she's also thinking back on her life on how 
like what a good life she had. Um, she was doing really well in school. She ha uh, she was about to get accepted to Juilliard um, Art School or Music School, I think it is. Um, and uh, she had a very loving boyfriend, um, Adam. And I think they've been together for a year. And her parents, like, they love them both, her and her brother. And she just had such an amazing life until this accident happened. Now, she doesn't know if she wants to continue being alive because her parents are no longer like there she she saw them and they were both dead and it was confirmed by the EMT people too um and it's it, she's torn between wanting to live and wanting to die and be with her parents um she she obviously doesn't know how to make her body respond either because there's a moment where her boyfriend goes into the room and he's talking to her and um she she doesn't know how to tell him like i'm here but it's only her spirit so it's a very very sad book um it it it, it touched my heart in a very different way um i actually I, I did read this about, actually it, it's been more than a month, it, maybe like a month and a half, um, and actually after I was done reading this book, I had a friend, uh, one of my best friends pretty much, that was in an accident and um, um, she, she passed away um, there too and it, it just like now that I think back on it it's like I feel like I mean it's obviously probably just me fantasizing but like she probably could have gone through what this girl went through and it's just very painful like for me to be thinking about it but because she was very special to me this friend but um as, as uh, let's go back to the book um as Mia is going through her life um she she's still confused and then something happens um i guess i'll say it her little brother actually passes away as well just like her parents and um she's actually able to see or well, as a spirit she's able to see her grandparents and her family at the at the waiting room and um um she she sees them and she sees how sad they are and how they they're praying for her and they want her to live um but she kind of doesn't really want to stay here because her parents are gone her brother is gone and she yes she has her the rest of her family and the boyfriend but she's she doesn't know how like if she does wake up how she's going to be physically if she's going to be able to continue with her life and all of that um and then at the end um well i don't want to say what she decides to do because i really want you to read it uh unless you already saw the movie but still still a good book um to be honest i'm not happy with her decision um i feel like it was a rushed decision um i mean obviously well the book makes this makes us think that she decided that but in the end, like, we don't know if she actually, like, if she actually had that power to either die or, like, stay alive. Um, but I wish that they would have shown, like, a little bit more. Because they showed, like, how her life was before. I wish there would have been an opportunity for her kind of, like, or at least from what we've been taught, I guess. Like, either from church or, you know, like, talks with parents or that... Well, well, at least what I've grown up with is that when people die, they they go into the light and they see, like, I guess their their life flash before their eyes. And then, um, well, what, from what I know is that they go to heaven. That's what I've grown up with. And I wish that for her, they would have um, kind of had that for her. That she would have been able to not completely go into the light but be able to be close enough to talk to her parents and to her little brother and kind of make her decision after that um i don't know i think it would have been a nice touch because i don't know family is so important 
and I don't know I just thought it would have been a good thing to add in this book to be honest I don't know if there's a second book or like a series I think it's just like a one book thing um but if it's not I'm definitely gonna read it um to be honest I'm not sure I want to watch the movie I'm not a big glowy uh glow <laughs> sorry my battery died and I had to change it um which I'm probably in a different area now and cut off cuz yeah so so saying I'm not a big a Chloe Grace Moretz fan um I don't know why I just never really um liked her acting um I mean it's not like I've seen so many movies of her that I can base it off of that but I've just never um, I don't know it just is really catching my attention but the book was really good if you saw the movie let me know what you thought about it and yeah um, we'll talk next time and thank you so much for being here with me on this video today please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumb th thumbs I was gonna say thongs what a big a thumbs up what why can I speak today and give this video a big thumbs up um, if you liked it and I think I already said don't forget to subscribe to my channel but if I haven't go ahead and subscribe it is free and you will get notifications of when I upload a video so keep having a great day and a great rest of the week a month a year and we'll see whoops we'll see each other next time bye Free